Hi, this is Bill for Sparky Channel, and this is the brand new Klein True RMS AC-DC digital clamp meter. It's a 400 amp meter, and it's auto ranging. And what I just did is I ran this little coffee grinder for a little bit, and I had it set on maximum. See this button right here says maximum, minimum. I had it set on maximum, and it, it reads 22.79 amps. Now, right up here, I have a Klein AC line splitter and it's on the times 10 area right here. So you got to divide this reading by 10. So it read 2.279 amps AC as a maximum. And that occurred very quickly. It's uh, at startup, you usually use the most amperage. So uh, that is what it did. Now notice this is a black background with white numbers. That's for increased visibility. It's something that Klein has come out with recently. And this has the backlight on. This meter actually has two backlights. If you, if you press this button on the side and hold it, you see, it's still got a backlight, but it's left to conserve battery. And you press it again and hold it, uh, there it's got a brighter backlight so it's it's nice and visible and it has two levels of backlight okay if I take it off and I turn it to voltage and I press the NCV which stands for non-contact voltage just press that okay it's now a non-contact voltage tester the setting that I have it on right now will test both AC and DC voltage. It determines by itself whether it's AC or DC voltage. So you don't have two separate areas on your meter for AC and DC. It does it by itself. And then we have uh, 400 amps for the higher amperage. But if you're going to be measuring uh, less than 400 amps, uh, put it on 40 amps and you get better resolution. This is a 4,000 count meter, which that means that if you measure something like uh, just a little bit less than 40 volts AC, it's going to read 39.99. So it'll go two digits past the decimal point for 39.99. But if you measure 40 volts AC, it'll measure 40.0. You see, so it's that's what 4,000 count means. Uh, basically. It's pretty darn good for this price range. Another excellent point about this meter is that it measures both AC and DC via the current clamp. All right, let me show you this button right here. Okay, uh, this will hold a measurement. Like it says 4.7 right now. You press that 4.5, okay, it's, it's holding that. It has a little H right there uh, when it's on hold. So you just press it again and it comes off. See the H came off. And now this is also for backlight. So you press and hold. You see the backlight just got brighter. You press and hold again. And it's dimmer. Okay, right back here is a section where you put in the batteries. And it takes three AAA batteries. So now I'm going to move over to the ohms continuity diode and capacitance setting. Okay, now we have it on ohms right now. You see right here, there's a little symbol, uh, an ohm symbol right there. And I have a resistor uh, right here. And it is reading 219.1 ohms. Okay, so it's on ohms right now. If you want to test for continuity, I'll just test these two leads together. And you get an audible alarm, and it reads pretty close to zero. So that's continuity. If you press the select button, so we're on ohms right now. Press the select button, and now we're at mega ohms. And mega ohms is times 10 to the 6th. Press select again, and this is nanofarads and farads are a unit of capacitance so we're going to be testing capacitance now and nanofarads means 10 to the minus ninth this is a capacitor right here we'll put it in this lead and in this lead 
Okay, so this is this capacitor is 10.72 nanofarads. And indeed, if you look with a magnifying glass on this capacitor, it says 10 nanofarads. So it's it's fairly close. And then if you press select one more time, you get diodes. And this is a symbol for diodes right here. Now, if you go one more, okay, this is microamps. This is very useful in HVAC applications. I have two leads across a receptacle and it is reading uh, 60 Hertz, which is standard for the United States. Okay, so I press select one more time and this is duty cycle. Uh, duty cycle is known by this percent symbol right here and it's also called power cycle and it is the fraction in which a signal or system is active so it means that we have a good sine wave is what it really means and so this is a, a useful piece of information uh, so that is duty cycle now we come to the next setting right here which is Fahrenheit and Celsius. This is a K-type thermocouple and it plugs right into the meter right like this and with a K-type thermocouple you can test temperature. I have a glass of ice water right here. I'm going to put the K-type thermocouple into the ice water and you can see the temperature going down. Uh, I, at first it was measuring the ambient temperature of the air and now in this ice water it's measuring 50 degrees Fahrenheit which is also 9 degrees Celsius so we got 48 degrees Fahrenheit or 9 degrees Celsius you can also use a probe type K-type thermocouple you see it, it plugs right in like this and this is a probe so that you can probe through insulation or anything you want and I'll put this in the ice water as well and put it on Fahrenheit and there, right now we're getting 52 degrees Fahrenheit the leads are about three and a half feet long and it has little covers like this without the covers they're cat 3 1000 volts but if you put these covers on, they're, they're cat 4, 600 volts. In conclusion, this meter has a lot of features for the money. It's a, a good HVAC meter because it can test for microamps and uh, Fahrenheit, Celsius. Uh, capacitance is especially important in HVAC and uh, amperage and it's it's really set up nicely for HVAC at a great price and it's true RMS which is very important so I'll put a link in my video description for the Klein Tools CL380 I'll also put a link for this Klein Tools K-type thermocouple probe which is great if you're working around insulation and it comes with its own case also, I'll put links for other new meters from Klein, such as the Klein Tools ET140, which tests for moisture. And I'll put a link for the new Klein Tools 8 and 1 1000 volt insulated screwdriver set. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.